Hi everyone. If you're new, my name is Alyssa and I've got two young boys. They're going to be turning four and five soon and our house is filled with loud noises, dinosaur roars, and lots of toys. So if you guys are interested in a lot of cleaning, organizing, decluttering motivation with a little bit of mom life talk thrown in there, then this is the channel for you. I'm starting by cleaning up my living room because it was the cleanest area of my lower floor. And I like to start sometimes with the easiest spot, especially if I'm trying to motivate myself to get off the couch. So that's what I'm doing in this video. And then I'm slowly working towards the kitchen since that was a little bit more of a disaster. And in this video, I was really determined to clean my entire lower floor. I didn't end up doing any bathrooms, but I did end up mopping under every single piece of furniture in the lower floor and it feels so good. Usually whenever I mop I just pick one or two pieces of furniture other than the like table and chairs. I usually always mop underneath the table and chairs and bar stools just because that's where we eat the most so it makes sense. But whenever I do mop the lower floor or vacuum on carpeting I usually choose a couple pieces of furniture to move and vacuum behind that way it doesn't get overwhelming. However, it had kind of gotten away from me. I haven't been doing that recently and it has shown, especially on my lower floor. It was pretty dusty everywhere. I could visibly see the dust building up under some of the furniture. So in today's video, I just really wanted to get in there and tackle it. We are also getting a puppy soon. It's going to be kind of mid-April, so I'm super excited to introduce you to our new friend. Once we have him and he comes into our home, I'll definitely put him in a video, but we're going to be getting that new little puppy soon, and I just wanted my house cleaned, and I wanted to kind of prep. I want to enjoy a clean house for at least one more week before the house gets destroyed and I'm potty training a puppy, so also this is probably the last time my house will ever look like this without any dog fur, so I'm going to enjoy it this week before it changes. Here I'm just wiping down all of these chairs. It had been a long time since I've done this. Usually, just for maintenance, I wipe down the spots that my kids sit and then the handrail area, but I almost never wipe the entire base of the chair. And these were covered in dust, drips of yogurt, grease. It was pretty gross, so I guess I should do this more often. One of the things that's nice is I actually, whenever I see something that needs to be cleaned, it bothers me until I do it. And it's kind of nice. I don't have amazing vision. And so if I just walk around my home and don't wear glasses unless I'm watching the TV, it allows me to relax and not see all the messes I have to clean up. So I don't know. Maybe that's a good strategy for everybody. If you don't want to have to see the mess, you just don't wear your glasses. I've thought about laser eye surgery. If anybody has done that, please let me know how you guys liked it, if it worked for you. Just anything you can tell me about your experience, that would be great. I'm not quite ready to commit. I was talking to my eye doctor and he recommended doing it when you're closer to 30 or just after 30 because usually your eyes don't change for a while. So I am thinking about it in the next few years and you guys will have to let me know if you guys did it. But I do have to say, the only benefit I can think of for having bad eyesight is to not see the dust on your baseboards and the dust all over the bases of the chair. So you guys will have to let me know if you agree. Here I'm just showing you guys a picture my youngest son drew. He taped a bunch of his favorite rocks to the picture and when I asked him what he was doing, he said he was making a frame for the picture. I thought that was so adorable. He tried to tape more to the picture, but he was having a hard time since it was making it all floppy. But I thought that was cute. He was making his own frame because he wanted his picture framed out and it did require a lot of tape. We go through lots of tape in this house as well as lots of craft supplies, so that's one of the things that I'm constantly shopping for and whenever there's like a Christmas or Easter it's a great time to stock up on all those things.
Here I'm just going to refill the hand soap. Whenever I wash this, usually one of them's running low, and this one was pretty much empty, so I'm going to refill this while I'm here. Just get it out of the way. Whenever I come and wash the sink, I just notice our soap dispensers are always covered, and I think it's because we have black soap dispensers. They just show every single drop of soap. However, I used to have brush nickel, and the brush nickel rusted so fast, and these black ones have never tarnished the paint has never come off and they have been absolutely amazing so I don't know there's pluses and cons to everything and you know it's just one of those things where if it's black you have to maintain it because the dust and everything will show Moving on to the stovetop, I said in last video that I did not get to my stovetop and unfortunately, I'm just being honest with you, it wasn't until the next week that I managed to tackle this. So if that says anything, that says how busy I was. So here I sprayed it down with Method Heavy Duty Degreaser. It's one of my favorite products. My husband loves it so much for a lot of garage projects because he's always covered in grease, especially if you work on cars or boats. So he even loves that product. I sprayed it on the stovetop and then I'm just going to let it sit while I wash this cast iron pot that we let sit for way too long with food in it. And then I'm also washing off all of the knobs. This gives the product a chance to do its job and then by the time I go back to wipe it all down, everything pretty much just wipes right off. It's very rare that I do have to pull out Barkeeper Soft Cleanser. That is one of my favorite things to use on the stovetop and the sink when it really needs some extra help. But today, even though it looked terrible, it ended up all wiping off with just this Method Heavy Duty Degreaser and that's my favorite. I like to not wait too long and just be able to use one product. Mac does a lot of the cooking in our house. For those that don't know, Mac is my husband and he loves to cook and he is such a great cook. It is so nice and it's such a blessing for me, especially when you're just doing so much cleaning. It's nice if the if your husband can be a partner and help out and he does the majority of the cooking in our household and he loves a gas stovetop. He would love to make our oven as well gas, but it is not, it's just regular um, and I've seen so many people on cleaning channels have the flat stove top that's not gas and let me tell you it looks like it would be so much easier to clean this is such a pain it is nice that these grates just kind of lift up in my old house you actually had to carry them and set them down on the counter these ones do just rotate up and that does make it a lot easier but it is still quite a chore so I do not do this every single time we cook it is just too difficult and I kind of let it go about every three days if I'm being honest there are some weeks where I just don't get to it and it's gonna have to wait a whole entire week until it's pretty bad my kids said that they were hungry and so I just decided to start some hard-boiled eggs. That is the best little kitchen gadget ever, especially if you want hard-boiled eggs. I don't like hard-boiled eggs as much when they're cold. I like them fresh and warm. And so for me, it makes more sense instead of keeping a big tub of hard-boiled eggs in the fridge, just to keep this little kitchen gadget that can make hard-boiled eggs for you in a matter of minutes. And my kids love them. My son was right there. He was helping me get it started. Started. They enjoy poking the eggs with the little metal part and then putting the water in and plugging it in. And I like to let them help as much as I can. Here I'm going to go in and clean my recycling container. It was just starting to stink. Whenever I opened the gar garbage, the garbage cans were smelling. And so I'm pretty sure it was just the recycling bin because it's gone now. But yeah, I'm handling that while the hard boiled eggs are going. And then I am going to be taking a quick break to feed my kids dinner. And then we'll get back to some cleaning. My husband is currently working this day and he works all through the day and night sometimes and so this is my solo mom night and since my husband does most of the cooking I usually just find snacks to feed us when he's gone. I will cook. I like cooking chicken breasts um, especially for wraps or salads things like that and then I do cook a big batch of lasagna to help out especially when guests come over and then I have a few other recipes I do like to throw in there that are kind of my go-to's. Oh here I'm just getting off some marker 
I'm just using a magic eraser to wipe that off real quick. But yeah, whenever my husband's cooking, I just like to eat snacks. As you can see, it's basically like a charcuterie board. I just rummage through my fridge and find anything I can think of to make a well-balanced meal and just throw it all together on a plate. And yes, there was not a lot of unhealthy things on their plate, but don't worry, I am giving them some fun things later in the day. It was just Easter time, so whenever there is Easter or holiday, I do like to keep their meals and snacks really healthy because I know that they're going to ask for candy or fun snacks afterwards. But you guys will definitely have to let me know if you guys just scrounge up whatever you can find if your husband's not home or if you actually sit down and cook a really nice meal for you and your kids. I just, I find that since my kids are young, they kind of complain about the food they're given quite a bit. And if you try anything too fancy, it just takes so long to get them to finish it. And when you're doing all of the bedtime routines by yourself and all the cleaning, it just makes more sense for me to come up with snacks. And ever since I was young, I could just find anything in the fridge, the freezer, the pantry, and just make do. I am not someone who, if I live by myself, I will not cook extravagant meals. It's just not me. And I'm perfectly okay with that. So if there's not people to cook for, I'm going to just do what I can to find snacks. So now I'm going in with my Bissell Crosswave. I got it at Costco a while ago and I love it a lot. I started with a cordless version of the Tinko, one of the first models that they had, and I loved it so much, but it quit working for me after two months and I was really scared to put money towards something that might just die on me again. It just wouldn't charge. It just stopped charging. I followed everything in the instruction manual, but it just quit working for me. So I I bought this one from Costco because it was corded and also I have a lot of hard floor in the downstairs and so I just wanted something that I could make sure to clean the entire um, flooring if I wanted to. I wouldn't have been able to vacuum under all of this furniture with the battery life of the Tinko. Now I did love the Tinko. I actually felt it did a better job scrubbing my floors. The brush roll was thicker and because it was cordless I just pulled it out whenever I wanted to and I would just use the self-clean option and then clean it out really good once a week and so I did use it way more often because of how easy it was to start using. This one I have to take it out and plug it in and um, it doesn't really have a self-cleaning option and it also has a lot more parts that you have to fit back into place and so it can take a little bit longer to get this one up and running but like I said I can do the whole lower floor I can pause I can move furniture and it doesn't die on me so it's really just whatever is best for you and you know sometimes if you don't have a lot of hard flooring just a simple mop works absolutely wonderful now that I'll be having a puppy soon, I'll be able to update you guys on whether or not the vacuums and the things I work are great for pets or not. So that's kind of a plus of getting a dog. I'll be able to give you guys updates for any of you animal lovers and I'll be able to let you know if hair gets caught in brush rolls or if it's easy to clean with. 
So here I just moved the dining room table as far over as I could and then I stacked all of the dining room chairs on the mats by the sliding door. Sometimes I'll stack them on the dining room table or I'll put the bar stools on top of the counter and then mop. You guys have seen me do that before but today I was not moving any of the little rugs by the front doors. I did recently clean those pretty well so I wasn't worried about them and because of that I just decided it was easier to just move the chairs and not put them on top and then wipe everything down again. I just didn't want to have to wipe everything down for a second time. So that's what I'm doing in today's video. And I really like how open it feels and how easy it is to clean when I do squish everything off to the side. You're going to see in just a second how filthy the water is. It's absolutely disgusting and I've only done a small portion of the lower floor. So now we're going to keep going. If you can see there's like a wet spot there and I had to move the furniture out of the way because I refilled the water and forgot to twist the cap properly. It was like on crooked. So when I put it back in it just slowly leaked out of the vacuum and I had to mop it up with a towel. And that's why it looks a little funny like the furniture is all pushed forward and there was like kind of a wet spot there but here we are we're going to keep going we're going to start with moving the couch it's not terrible under here but it is covered in a layer of dust and then there was just a few toys here and there so we're going to move all that and then I am going to be also rolling up our area rug in today's video and I'm going to be storing that in our office for a couple of months as I said before I am prepping for a puppy and I really just don't want to have to worry about cleaning up potty or poop from an area rug so for the first couple of months of potty training I'm just getting rid of the area rug altogether and I'll bring it back when I'm ready. I'm also going to be carrying these black chairs up to our master bedroom for just a little while because without a rug to ground them, they look a little silly just sitting in the corner. The reason we got away with some accent chairs is because when they're placed on the airy rug, it kind of looks like it holds all the furniture together. And when you remove the airy rug, they do just kind of stand out like a sore thumb. Also with a little puppy, I just want as few things I have to clean as possible so I'm just going to temporarily move those pieces of furniture and see how life is without them. I actually, if I'm being honest, love not having an airy rug. I'm probably one of the few. I think my room looks so much better with an area rug. Maybe not the one that we have. The one that we have was actually from our old house and it was originally from our master bedroom. It was for all of our modern black furniture and then when we moved into this house I just decided to use it for the living room room and it is a little bit too small for the space and it doesn't quite fit the room but it was the only rug I had and I'm not ready to buy a new rug just because I want one. I have to really use this rug up and make sure that it's absolutely destroyed before I buy a new one so for now I'm just rolling it up and putting it out of the way. These wood blocks that you saw me picking up, I cut those when we moved in because I wanted the couch to be a little bit further away from the wall. And they just kind of sit behind there. Nobody can see them. Maybe one day I'll paint them so they blend in with the floor a little bit better. But for now, it works really well if you need a way to keep your couch far away from the wall. It really does do a great job. 
But like I was saying, I actually really like how simple and clean and empty the house feels without the area rug. Obviously, it looks better with an area rug. I do think that an area rug really ties in the space. Curtains, area rugs, decor, it all makes your home so homey and beautiful. However, it is every single item that I own is something I have to clean and maintain, nobody else. And so it it is kind of nice for a few months taking a break from having to vacuum the area rug and you know wet vac it and keep track of it so I as much as I love decor and I love things looking homey and beautiful and tying everything together I like saving money and saving time more so you guys will have to let me know your guys's style and if I do end up buying a new area rug should I go dark or light almost done with the lower floor we just have this little hallway left and our fish room which we're actually going to be having our dog kennel in the fish room for now I haven't found a spot in the house I want it so that's where it's going in the meantime we're gonna be setting up a dog kennel in the far corner where it's very empty if you guys have seen a house tour before in my home you guys know we have this big empty corner someday I'm thinking some big plant or maybe some shelves but we haven't done anything with it yet how was your guys' Easter? I know that my video got released the day before Easter, but I'm sure a lot of you didn't watch it after Easter, and so if you guys had a great Easter, I'd love to hear about it in the comments. My Easter was nice. My boys both were so excited. They had a hard time falling asleep, and when they woke up, they ran down the stairs and they raced around, found eggs, their Easter basket, and we went to church and then we ended up seeing some family. So it was a really nice day. And now we've been having spring break. So our spring break was the week after Easter. So my older son has been home and my two boys have been loving getting the chance to play with each other all day. We've done a few adventures. We've tried to, we've gotten fishing license. So we're hoping to go crabbing, get some muzzles and start fishing here soon. And we haven't done it yet, but we're hoping by the end of the week to have been out a few times. But it's just been so nice hearing the laughter and seeing that my boys are enjoying each other this spring break. They're only a year apart and they share rooms together, so they're into all of the same things and always have been, which makes it so easy. Now don't get me wrong, they did have to get used to being around each other for a straight week and they're not used to that anymore. So there was a little bit of fighting and a little learning curve. We had to remind them how to use their words, but they have been playing so amazing and they're both really into Legos right now and that keeps them occupied. My older son is really getting into reading and so what's been super fun is he started picking up reading to his younger brother and he's trying to teach his younger brother how to read which is so cute. I do work with both of them but it is fun to watch the older brother try to teach the younger one um, skills that he's currently learning in school. As you can see this last little um, this last little tr <laughs> I'm I'm totally blanking. This cartridge, um, I was trying to think of a word to describe this container of dirty water, but cartridge probably works. This dirty water cartridge container, I'm emptying it. As you can see, it is so gross. So it's pretty nasty. I could have filled it back up and then 
finished wet vacuuming all of the rugs next to the sliding door and the mudroom, but I just really didn't feel like it. I was tired and it was getting late. I just really wanted to relax with a cup of tea. So I'm just getting the house put back together and moving all the furniture back in place. And I'll show you guys a final look at the house after I'm done. Before I close out the video, I am going to do a little bit of organization. I'm going to take some things in our cabinet in the living room and I'm actually going to find a new place for them so that I can open up a whole entire cabinet for dog stuff. My plan is to have a couple of bins in there and room for like toys that we only use for when we're with him and then also some grooming stuff so that's my plan we'll also head into the office where I'm moving some things into and just do a quick clean up in there our plan is to have some chew toys that he can have whenever he wants in his kennel around the house. And then my husband's been watching a lot of training videos, so he wanted a lot of toys that are just kind of for us when we're working with him or playing with him. So we're kind of going to have a mix of different kinds of toys. I'm pretty new to this, so we're learning a lot from YouTube videos. YouTube comes in handy when you really need them. Here I'm going to quickly vacuum the couch. I should have done this before I vacuumed under the couch. I did not do this in the right order, but it's better late than never. these two empty bins they have lids and they were in our office just sitting there with nothing in them so I just decided to fill them up with the stuff that was in this cabinet we don't get stuff from this cabinet very often it is very rare this is stuff that we do use though so they're extra knobs for our house home maintenance repair kits safety things for kids child proof locks all sorts of stuff that is just things that you kind of have to have, replacement parts for kitchen cabinets, everything that kind of came in with the house, and then some extra stuff that came with the furniture. Maybe I could have decluttered it a little bit better. I was rushing a little bit in this video, but I think it works. And, you know, since we don't access it very often, it just shouldn't be in this living room. These living room cabinets are supposed to house a lot of things that we need access to throughout our daily lives. So one of these bins is going to be extra household maintenance things and then the other bin is going to be light bulbs and electrical things so like extension cords and stuff. I really want to get some black paper and tack it on the inside of these cabinet doors so that you can't see into them. It's not terrible especially when you're standing up but when you're close to them you can basically see right into them and I'd love to just kind of put some black paper on the back side so that everything's hidden but I keep saying I'm going to do that and I just haven't yet. Here I'm just finishing up putting everything we've collected for the dog so far into this bin. I'll definitely find other areas in the house that they go like we have leashes and a dog bowl we're slowly collecting things and those definitely won't go in that cabinet but for now I'm just putting everything dog related in that cabinet for now and now I'm just in our little office multi-room and I'm just cleaning up the floor I'm going to give it a quick vacuum and put away a board game that we were doing as a family we played Monopoly for the very first time with the boys my younger son was not into it he was not quite ready but my five-year-old loved the game and I wouldn't say he quite understands strategy but he's starting to get it and it it was a lot of fun watching him. I'm so sorry if you heard some lawn maintenance. I do my best to try to only record when there's nothing going on outside and it's not loud, but I really needed to finish this voiceover and I don't know if you guys can hear the lawns being mowed and the weed whacker going, but they were definitely in the background, so I'm sorry about that.
everyone. I just wanted to come on here face to face and close out this video and just tell you guys how much I appreciate every single one of you that watched this video, especially those who stuck it out till the end. You'll never know how exciting it is to build a community here on YouTube. We got so much done in today's video and I am tired. So I'm going to close out this video, but I'm definitely gonna be honest with you guys. So I'm going to give you a little tour of how the downstairs looks, but I will show you upstairs. So it may look clean, but there's always another area of the house that gets destroyed. So I'm gonna show you guys a quick little tour and I hope you guys have a wonderful rest of your weekend. Bye.